good Saturday morning. You probably can't see the snow in the back, but it's gorgeous in Chicago. And like I said, I've just been going chapter by chapter, day and night, like I said, for, for months, years. And I have no decision making as far as what's the next chapter. But we are in Luke 23 and it's talking about Jesus' uh, crucifixion and his power and his victory and how we are invited to have abundant life. And why am I mentioning the snow? Because in Isaiah 118, hey, Though your sins may be like scarlet, you might have done some crazy stuff. Even last night, Friday night, whatever, before the storm hit, guess what? Jesus is here to be your savior, right? Romans 10, 10, 8, 9, and 10 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus has raised from the dead, that you believe in your heart that he has done that, your sin shall be forgiven. But first you have to say, Lord, man, I'm, you know, I've, I've been doing some crazy things. He knows about it. But he wants you to confess it, right? Believe in your heart and then accept him and turn away from that. Now, he will give you the power. I'm telling you. It's not about, you know, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to wear this, you know, Sunday and I'm going to participate in this organization and I'm going to, you know, fry the chicken dinners. No, it's about having a true relationship, abundant life. And this theme for this chapter is abundant living, abundant forgiveness, and abundant abundant witnessing because after you have been transformed look god wants you to have the victory so that you could go out there because there's it's crazy out here and we don't have all the time that we think we um, might have but in verse 43 pretty much abundance a uh, living it says you know remember when you know the criminals were on the cross next to the lord and um, one was like, oh, well, you know what? Save us if you know you're all that. And then the other was like, please, just, are you kidding me? Do you have any fear of God? What are you doing? And he was like, Lord, what did he say? Verse 42, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus responded to that criminal. Verily I say unto thee, because that criminal believed in his heart, he said, Jesus said, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Guess what? The Lord would give you that paradise experience, that abundance now. January 2019. Don't let another day, don't let another hour, don't let another minute go by without accepting the Lord into your heart. Because we don't know if we're going to get into the afternoon hours, right? Stuff is crazy, y'all. And I don't want to say that just because of fear. But the Lord wants to do something amazing for your life. There was a reason why you were born when you were born. And there's a reason why you're still alive right now. So say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart so that I can um, have this abundant life. Right. I believe that you are the true living God. Right. And you're going to do amazing things. Amen. Abundant forgiveness. Look in verse 34. Right. When they were crucifying him. Jesus was able to say to his father, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. When people attack you, when people you know, say crazy things, quote that. And guess what? That's the reverse of verse 43, 34, right? Just even just let it go. I'm not saying frozen. I'm just saying let it go. Ah, oh, look at that snow, snow thing. But let it go. Let it go. And guess what? God would give you the strength to do that. That's abundant forgiveness that he forgave us, whatever dirty we've done. But like I said, we're not pimping the Lord's grace, God's grace. He will give you the power to do the things that he have aligned for you to do and assigned for you to do way back in eternity. Trust him. Start getting into the word. Start praying. Start, you know, going, uh, ask the Lord to show me a good place to worship. Yeah, give it before 2019 goes any further. And abundant witness. Guess what? The Lord, for those who are experienced, the Lord wants you to be bold for him for such a time as this. Because like I said, the bold boldness of the enemy has been turned up. I remember when I was in high school, how I would be crazy. 
I remember one Halloween, I was a witch on roller skates. I forgot about this, but I was just always out there, you know, fearless. Well, guess what? Now I'm fearless for the Lord and he'll do the same for you. Be a bold witness because he's given us abundant life, forgiveness, and a witness for 2019. Have a great day.